Prince Edward Island's tallest dunes. Check it out. It's delightful when your imaginations come true, isn't it? We're Nat and Abby, and we turned an ex-prison van into a tiny cabin on wheels in order to travel the world with our two dogs, Bear and Peluche. For the past two and a half years, we've embraced life on the road, and we share our highs and lows right here every week. Subscribe to our channel, and together, let's play, ride, and seek. I'm geeking out, y'all. I'm talking about the Confederation Bridge. It stretches 7.5 miles over the Northumberland Strait, and it's the longest bridge in Canada. The locals call it the Fixed Link, and it's the only road that connects Prince Edward Island to the mainland. It's an incredible feat of engineering, and we're about to take a closer look. So we're waiting in line right before you get into PEI or after you get over the bridge. We have to get a swab test and we had to fill out a form online. It takes a couple days to get back, but we got our pass. So hopefully this is easy breezy and we're on our way. Once they're done with that, you'll be free to go. Okay. And somebody looks like they're a photographer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> they're so incredibly nice here. And we had a lovely chat. Yeah. We in PEI, check it out. Let's go check out Thunder Cove. The sun is setting, the sound of the waves is just lulling me into this like really peaceful place. You guys, Thunder Cove Beach. Thunder Cove, eh? It's beautiful. Okay, what's for dinner? Um, so we're making ramen noodles. I'm using a broth that I made the other night with some friends. It is my chanterelle and acorn squash ramen broth. robust vegan broth. It's excellent. Don't miss the meat. We've had a long day, so I'm just going to heat that up tonight for dinner. But I mean, it's still pretty gourmet, huh? Still pretty gourmet for just whipping it up. Just heating it up there. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. All right, y'all. We'll see you in the morning. Every morning I make coffee to the sweetest view. And I'm not talking about the view out the window. <laughs> I'm talking about the one inside. They cuddle every morning. It's just their routine while I make coffee. I freaking love it. Good morning, love. Morning. He gets in the bed as soon as I get out of the bed. <laughs> Cause he wants to cuddle with mom and dad. What you think, baby boy? Oh. 
In case you're wondering, here's Bear. <laughs> he pretty much stays in bed until it's breakfast time, and then we actually feed him breakfast in bed. He's got the life. Right, buddy? Avocado toast for breakfast. A nice crusty piece of focaccia, smashed avocado, tomatoes, everything bagel spice, and nutritional yeast, and some ground cherries. Thank you, Jazz and Crystal. These things are unbelievable. Never heard these in my life, and we are obsessed. I grew up reading the Anne of Green Gables novels. They were a really big part of my childhood. I related a lot to Anne because she's curious, spunky, adventurous, and a little mischievous, but always with good intentions. Anyways, the book is actually set right here on Prince Edward Island, and that's our first stop for the day. N'est-ce pas merveilleux de voir nos rêves se réaliser? That was a little Spanish at the end, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm I, trying, guys. I appreciate guys. your efforts. <laughs> All right, what does that mean? Tell them what it means. It's delightful when your imaginations come true, isn't it? All of this is original 1800s furniture, and it's been designed after the description in the novel. Uh, that is the rose petal tea set on the table that Anne wanted to use, but Marilla was like, no. And in reality, these main level bedrooms were very common in old Prince Edward Island farmhouses because families stayed together. I would wear that, eh? Well, you would wear it, and you would I look good, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, slick. <laughs> cool. Y'all really need to see how much Natalie's geeking out over the stove. <laughs> she really wants one. Old fashioned, but it's, it's old fashioned, but back in the day, you know, this is what they had to do to prepare food. You had to control your fire and your temperature, and it was a lot of work, so it was a true labor of love to have food around the table. And now, you know, we've got electric coiled ovens, and this is what I want. When we buy our homestead, I want to go back to, you know, the Simple root, life. The suit, yeah, the roots of working hard to get what you what you need, you know, your essentials in life. I mean, to be that connected to it, I mean, that's that's the beauty of living, look. This is the landscape where Lucy Maud Montgomery spent her childhood, which inspired her to write the novel Anne of Green Gables. It's really cool, y'all. They did such a good job at putting all of this together. It, if you have read the books, it really feels like you're in the novel, like you're in the story. The attention to detail is spot on. Awesome. making a quick pit stop at North Rustico Beach. It's very iconic Prince Edward Island. Red sandy cliffs overlooking the ocean. Not a bad parking spot. You wanna go on a walk? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that means yeah. I just want you guys to see what's going on right now. On. Natalie has filled the front seat with moss. I'm That's my seat. I'm She's drying it, which means it's wet, and she put it on my seat. You know this has been a dream of mine since we finished the build. You know what I mean? So let me have this moment. It needs to dry appropriately for crafts. I'm trying to finish it so we can do our van tour. Whoa. I hope you guys heard that. That was pretty awesome. The trees are like rubbing together, you know, making making like love. <laughs> the creaky forest. 
So this walking trail we're on is next to the sea and it's shared with a bike trail and there's these obstacle courses on the bike trail. Now, if only Abby and I had our bikes, we could enjoy this part because it's amazing. Oh, this is why we need bikes. Nice. <laughs> what an experience it would be with a bike, eh? Senior dog, I gotta take care of my bubby. It's flying now. Look at him go. You're the best dog mom, babe. As long as I keep going, he's gonna keep going. You gotta have a disco ball and a rainbow prism in your van. Look Point. at this. Look, look at it. stand hopefully they have potatoes thank you i'm so excited down. It's too beautiful. Look at this. We're walking on a floating bridge right now. Cute. Abby and Ducky. This boardwalk is so majestic. I've never seen dunes this large. I mean, they're like as tall. Tallest skyscrapers. Prince Edward Island's tallest dunes. Check it out. These dunes are so large. Look at Abby compared, just to give you a little perspective. <laughs> That's so fun. Do you know how dunes got their name? How? I don't know. <laughs> I'll be here all day. So damn cute. What do I dune with you? <laughs> I'll be here all day. Pick me up, pick me up. <laughs> there is a swarm of mosquitoes. Oh my god. I think that's our cue to get out of here and hit the road. We're going to be cooking dinner with these amazing potatoes we got on that roadside stand. You guys look, this is literally just came out of the dirt. Woo! I can't wait. The sunset was magic. This spot is unbelievable, right on the side of the ocean. Time to start cooking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I don't care if I have a fork or not, I'm trying this potato. Chew that, chew that. Okay. Mm. Chew that. Mm. All right, you all, we had an amazing, freaking amazing day. PEI has been unbelievable so far. So dinner for the night is frozen chicken tenders, vegan, okay? We've got some beautifully roasted zucchini squash, rustic, some very, very ridiculously chopped green beans, because it reminds me of my childhood, and we've got some amazing PEI potatoes, okay? Love these on the side of the road, they're freaking amazing. You guys, I just roasted these in the oven with some nice spices and nice oil and fresh herbs. Herbs, we're in Canada. That about does it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next Sunday. More flies. How the f get the f I swear to God. Sorry, Luce. Eat it.
Get Luchi. I'm pretty patient when it comes to bugs and, you know, we're camping and stuff, but flies? No. No! Get out of my home. Where are you at? Ah, you mother, mother. Mira, por me caro. There it is! <laughs> is anybody else this crazy over flies in their house? You are! If you're in a van, you are! They suck! If I just land on my face while I sleep like this, it's just a, like that. Sleeping like this. <laughs> Y'all aren't ready. I'm trying to tell you. You don't know me. You better sit, stick around. <laughs> It gets worse. <laughs> yes! Oh, and she's back with at it with the flies. Ah! They always win. No flies were killed in the making of this video. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, here. I'm checking dinner.